come around to the outside, you can see there's not even a good seal on this on this vent. You can still see this tape. This little piece of uh, paper is being sucked in. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the camper and I'm adding AC to it. Something I've been wanting to do for a while. You can see I have my AC unit right here. It's a little Arctic King 5000 BTU unit, little window unit. I've had this AC just sitting around. I bought it a couple years ago and I used it like one time, maybe for like one summer. So I wasn't sure how I was gonna do the AC in this camper. I was thinking about getting a portable AC unit, the one that just has a tube that sticks out the window. I've been thinking about everything and saving space is ideal in here. Using a portable AC isn't isn't great for space saving. There's other ACs, the RV ACs that mount on the roof, and I didn't really want I didn't really want one of those for two reasons. One, just because of how high they stick up um, above the roof. Another one is they're pretty heavy. They make the they put a lot of weight on top of the roof, so make everything top heavy. And three, they're pretty expensive. I think a lot of the units are around a thousand dollars for those ones, even more for some of them. So didn't really want to go that route. I've seen a lot of other smaller ACs, some low power ones, but those ones are really expensive too. So this one says it only uses like 500 watts. I think everything should work pretty well with this AC that I'm using. Another cool thing about this is that I had a space already pretty much perfect for it. So I, I had a good little storage spot in this cupboard and this AC pretty much fits in here perfect. So I changed the storage spot. So now all this is just storage. And now this section over here is just for the AC. I bought a insulation kit from Home Depot. It was really cheap, like 10 bucks. It came with six sheets of insulation. So I just cut it and made a little box so i'll take my ac out and show you so then if you look in here i have this little box built out of the insulation and all i did was use some some of that hvac tape to seal it all up and put it into place so i watched a couple other videos of people doing similar things to this the exhaust for the ac all comes out back here and it sits right up against here pretty much perfectly so all the exhaust goes straight out that vent and now i have another little vent i'm going to put right here so that it can suck air in and cool the condenser and then all the hot air can go straight out there and then the last thing i'll do is just put maybe a little plastic tray down here and then drill a hole so the water can drain because a little bit of water does build up in here that's the only thing i still left have to do after i put the vent in so we're going to put this vent in right now i'm going to fit it on here drill a couple holes and then i can make a cut from the outside So I drilled a couple holes in the inside just so I have a general idea where I want it on the inside and then I held it up on the outside right to these holes and then traced it all around so this is pretty much where I want it now so I'm gonna use my grinder and cut this hole Let's 
see if it fits. Wow, like a glove. Still gotta finish it, but this is the intake. And this is the exhaust. I'm going to clean everything up in here and then I'll show you how it's all working. Alright, just cleaned up a little bit. Just vacuumed it out. Just so my AC isn't picking up all that stuff. Now I'm just going to slide the AC back in and show you how it works. I still want to make a couple spacers for back behind where the back of the AC sits just so it'll sit like more more level and then I think it'll be tilted that way enough so it'll drain onto the little tray that I have in mind so you can see the new vent that's right there the exhaust is gonna go out there all right so right now I just have it hooked up to an extension cord just because my battery and my inverter isn't really set up to run this thing yet I still need to upgrade that I right, close this close this for now I just heard the AC kick on so it's blowing nice cold right now you come around to the outside you can see there's not even a good seal on this on this vent you can still see this tape this little piece of uh, paper is being sucked in so that's the air being sucked in for the condenser then over here this is all the exhaust air coming out you can actually feel a good bit being forced out you can see this little piece of paper on this side is floating you can see it moving around and then yeah you come in here and look at it see how the AC pots up right against there once I get a little spacer to lift this back end a little bit it'll fit pretty much perfectly flush against there and then yeah all the other air is being drawn in here and it keeps this AC nice and cool so if you to even pull this off like I said I haven't finished this yet I still need to seal this all up but when you take that off can see it could be pushed in a little bit more down on the bottom but pretty much all the exhaust is being forced out right here on this hole there's nowhere else it can really go there's a little crack right here and right there in that corner but it's still it's enough to work really really well and force all the air out of here and that just sits on there right like that for now until I seal it all off but yeah, this little corner where I put the AC, I didn't even plan all this out. And this little corner worked perfect because the condenser is right here. It's a nice little system for the exhaust to come out and pull air in for the condenser. You can already feel it's really, really cold. Not 100% sure when, where I'm going to run the cord yet because eventually it is going to be run by my inverter that's under there so not 100 percent sure what to do with that but one thing i do want to do is make like a little maybe like a little attachment that fits over right here where the air comes out because a lot of it is being forced you know this way but I don't think it's quite enough. I would like to cool the bed area a little faster. So if I made like a little attachment that fit on here, it would make all of it blow out this way. And I think that would just be a little bit better. This is pretty much the best spot that I had to put it. So it's not ideal that it's facing like right at this wall, but still it's, it's, a, really, it's a really small area. So this thing doesn't have to work very hard to cool this. Uh, area down it's only about this camper is only about 80 square feet maybe even a little bit less because the bed area so it gets cool in here pretty quick but since the bed area is so far away it takes a little bit longer to get this bed area uh, cooled down but we got the working AC there's a fly in here really the only thing I have to do to complete the install 
is just add a little tray underneath the AC and then a little drain just in case I ever run it for a really, really long time and it needs to drain out some water. But yeah, I think this little system's gonna work really well. So that's how I hooked up my AC. I, as of right now, I'm planning on getting a, like a 280 amp hour lithium battery. And I think I have a solution for charging the battery in cold weather. So I'll make another video about that. So I need to upgrade the inverter and the battery. Uh, the inverter should run this right now because it's only uses like 540 watts But when the compressor kicks on I think it surges a little bit too high for my inverter So yeah, I want to get at least a 2000 watt inverter and then a 280 amp hour battery And I should be pretty much good to go. Let me know what you guys think about the install Yeah, guys this campers come a really long way pretty much done now like I was saying, got to do the battery and the inverter, but that's basically all I have left to do and get the solar panels. So that's going to be really important too. Those are the last three big things I have to do. And then the camper is basically complete. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on actually getting to use this thing. I got big, big plans for this thing this year. If this video helps you out at all, make sure you drop a big thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it and really helps out the video. So that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.